Hey you doing, I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary photos sent in by Slapped Ham viewers. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. Slapped Ham fan Jenna T was researching her family tree on Ancestry.com when she came across something that she thought would fit in well with our scary photos. The black and white photo came from her uncle's wife and depicts her mother's grandparents. She believes the photo was probably taken after World War I, most likely around 1920. However, when studying the photo closely, she discovered there was more than just family history in this photo. Just above her great-grandfather's head, there appears to be a ghostly hand reaching down from the trees. The oddly pointed fingertips hover just above his shoulder, as if the mysterious entity was reaching out to touch him. There may also be a vaguely ghostly face watching from behind him. Some may suspect that Jenna's relative sent her a doctored photo, but according to Jenna, that is impossible. Her relative is in her 70s and doesn't have the technical ability to alter photos. So who was watching her relatives on this day almost a century ago? At a bar in West Virginia, Elizabeth B took a carefree selfie with a friend to commemorate their night out on the town. Little did she know she was about to end up in one of Slapped Ham's list of scary photos. The bar is called 123, and when Elizabeth visited the establishment in October of 2016, she saw something that made her hesitant to go back. In the background of the photo she posed for with her friend, you can see what appears to be the bloodied face of a mysterious man. According to our viewer, there was definitely no one behind them when the photo was taken. So where did this disturbing face come from? On another floor of the bar hangs a photograph of a man who used to work there. Shockingly, the face in this photo strongly resembles the man whose portrait hangs in the bar. Perhaps the man is watching over his former place of employment after death. However, the blood dripping from his face suggests something far more sinister. Jen NC, a loyal Slaptam viewer, is no stranger to the paranormal. In the building where she lives, she regularly hears strange sounds coming from the hallway at night that she's never been able to explain. When walking down the hallway one day, her boyfriend even felt something grab at his arm, even though there was no one else around. They've also had bizarre experiences while cooking. While using the stove, the temperature will randomly change for no reason. Despite all these frightening experiences, Jen has never been able to capture any scary photos that might shed light on the haunting. That is, until one day when she accidentally snapped this picture in the hallway. She wasn't intending to take a photo, but her finger hit the button by accident. According to Jen, it was dim in the hallway and the camera's flash was on. The camera was facing backwards, so the photo captured the area of the hallway directly behind her. What showed up in the photo is spine chilling. In the harsh light of the flash, we can see a dark figure standing behind Jen. The figure is just a shadow hiding any features, but its appearance is still terrifying. Could this be the entity that has caused all the other paranormal happenings in her house? Selfies snapped to commemorate family outings rarely turn out to be scary photos. Unfortunately for Donald RN, who submitted this next picture, something seems to have been lurking close by during a family trip to the zoo. The photo was taken by Donald's daughter while she was spending time with her young stepbrother at the zoo. The two are all smiles, but another entity seems to have wanted to be part of the fun. At the bottom right hand corner of the photo, a ghostly photo bomber makes an appearance. The face of the entity is pale and its lips are stretched into a wide smile. The entity appears to be very close to the girl taking the photo, so she certainly would have noticed another person standing so close by. Our viewer has no explanation for the terrifying face that snuck into this scary selfie. Was there really a ghostly apparition lurking nearby? Years ago, when Julie R's daughter was 12 years old, she pulled out a camera to take some selfies. In one of the photos, something truly strange appeared that the family has never been able to explain. The photo was taken in a mirror, 
and just above the girl's head appears dark streaks and swirls that don't seem to correspond to anything that might have been behind her. The family attempted several times to replicate the photo with no success. They have no idea what could have caused these bizarre markings. One possibility is that the photo portrays ectoplasm, a supernatural substance often thought to be left behind by ghosts and other paranormal entities. The presence of ectoplasm in the photo suggests that Julie's daughter may not have been alone when snapping her pictures. Ray Della Pena was not expecting to come back from a hiking trip with any scary photos. However, it seems that the spirits of Mount Batalao in the Philippines had other plans for these hikers. The photo depicts the group of friends setting up camp in the dark of night on the mountain. There are several figures in the photo, but when Ray reviewed the pictures, he realized that there was one face too many. Over the shoulder of the man in the yellow shirt, a ghostly face peers out from the dark to watch the group as they set up camp. All of the other members of the party are accounted for in the photo, so no one can explain this frightening apparition. Noelle W and her children always felt that something was off in their home in Phoenix, Arizona. They would often spot ghostly orbs in their photos, and the children regularly reported seeing strange figures around the house. Among the many scary photos that were taken in the home, this one stood out as truly terrifying. Noelle's daughter had decided to put a temporary tattoo on her brother Jason's head, and Noelle wanted to capture the silly and adorable moment with a photo. However, when reviewing the photo on her computer, she was shocked to notice a strange blurry object hovering next to her son's face. The object appears tan or pink in color, but is too blurry to make out any other features. Noelle was stumped and a little concerned. What could this bizarre object be that was floating so close to her young son? If you've got any ideas, let us know in the comments section below. Ruby T had a friend who long suspected that something was amiss in the classroom where she went to school every day. She often felt as if someone else was in the room who was not entirely human. Several other classmates had the same feelings, but no one could explain it. A few even claimed to have spotted a mysterious girl sitting in a chair in the back of the room, but no one was able to get a clear look at her face. One day when the class took a photo together, they finally captured proof that a ghostly entity was lurking. Just behind one of the girls in the center of the photo, there appears to be another girl with long dark hair peeking out from behind. Only part of her face is visible, so it's difficult to make out any distinct features. However, her lips seem to be stretched into an eerie smile. The class is small, so the students could definitely tell that this mysterious girl didn't belong. And the students are all pressed close together in the photo, so they certainly would have noticed an extra classmate sneaking in. No one can explain who this mystery girl is, or why she seems to be so attached to this particular group of students. Nigel C was on Skype chatting with his son in New Zealand when suddenly the son seemed frightened. He asked, who's behind you? There was no one else around so Nigel was disturbed by the comment. The son quickly took a screenshot to capture the entity. Directly behind Nigel there appears to be a woman in a sequined shirt reaching out towards him. She's so close that the top of her face is cut off by the top of the screen, but the part of her face that is visible appears still and mask-like. Her hand also seems to be touching Nigel's shoulder, but he never felt anything touch him. After his son captured the screenshot, Nigel turned around to look for an explanation, but saw nothing. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a terrifying photo captured on a beach, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll always be in the loop about our latest videos. In this series of bizarre and scary photos submitted by Slapped Ham viewer Bunny L, a woman and her young child pose for the camera on a beach. The first three photos look normal, which makes the fourth photo in the series all the more shocking. In the fourth photo, there suddenly appears behind the woman what seems to be a disembodied head. 
Only the hair of the head is really visible, until you zoom in closer to see a dark face glancing downward. Because of the position of the head and of the woman in the photo, it's impossible for this head to have been attached to a body. Also, upon re-examining photos 1 to 3, there appears to be a headless shadow standing nearby. This photo was taken on a sunny beach, but the face appears to be in shadow. What terrifying entity was lurking behind this woman and child during their carefree day at the beach? No one has been able to explain this terrifying photo. Hey peeps, just a quick announcement. If you've got some weird footage or creepy photos you want to send us, follow us on Facebook and send it in a direct message. Some of you have been emailing your footage and photos and it's really hard for us to keep track of. So make sure you send it to our Facebook page in a direct message. If it's interesting enough, we may feature it in an upcoming episode. If you want to see more creepy photos sent to us by viewers, then check out that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's a creepy photos playlist there you can binge on for hours. Leave us a comment down below which one of these photos you thought was the weirdest. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 